Hello, and welcome back to Ask a News Worker. In a recent video, I talked about the concept of media frenzies, news frenzies, media blitzes, I've heard them called, a news frenzy. There's different terms for it. Any sort of situation where the news really piles on to a particular story or topic usually involves multiple news agencies, sometimes over many different language groups. It can happen within a single language group. It's when an event or an occurrence, some sort of happening, some sort of news event takes place that forces one usually major news organization to really pile in and to really research and, and report the, the hell out of something to the point that other news agencies other news outlets feel they have to do the same. And to the outsider, to the casual observer, it may seem like, wow, everyone's focusing on this one thing. Why are they doing that? Once again, as I have said in other videos, there's a lot going on in the world at any given point. Why are there times and situations where all the news outlets seemingly converge on one single thing? Well, there's a connection to another video I did previously called The News Chases Drama. It's about how the news is after dramatic stories in general. They want something dramatic to report on. They want something dramatic to chase. So that's a part of it. There's a drama element to it, but there's also a social pressure element to it that might not be obvious to people who haven't been in the news business, who haven't worked inside of it like I have. There are many situations in news jobs and news environments, newsrooms, where the people involved, even if they're very experienced, even if they feel like they have a very strong sense of judgment about what is news, what is not, what should be given coverage, what should not be, there comes a point, a tipping point of sorts, where so much attention, so much interest is being devoted to a particular thing, topic, event, whatever it may be, that it almost forces the hand of a news outlet or a newsroom in question to say, well, now we've got to do it. I've been in many situations myself as a news worker where I've, I've seen this. I haven't necessarily made that call. I'm, despite my age, I'm, I'm in my experience, I've, I've worked over 10 years, 10 to 12 years, I would say, in the news business so far. I, I'm not in a senior enough position to say, we're going to cover this, we're not going to cover that. But I've been around those discussions and I've, I've seen those choices being made. There is a sort of peer pressure that happens. And it's not like, you know, one outlet is calling the other saying, you better cover this just like we are. You know, I, I've never seen anything quite like that. I don't honestly think that CNN is calling up NBC and saying, you guys better cover this like we are. And BBC is calling up them and saying, we're covering this. So you should too. It happens uh, more bottom up than that. Just every media outlet, every media source is sort of watching the other media sources watch each other and watch where they give coverage and that leads them to cover something themselves and that's what leads to a media frenzy a media blitz a pylon is another way to put it where so much media attention goes on something because it seems like they have to there there's a feeling that occurs within the newsroom within the news body within the news organization that says we have to cover this because everyone else is doing it because everyone else is doing it, we have to do it too. And some people might say, that's kind of funny. I mean, you would think that if everyone else is covering it, that frees up one organization or two organizations at the very least to maybe focus on something else. You know, if everyone's going one way, maybe we should go another way since that's covered. I mean, <laughs> I've wondered this myself too. If, you know, eight to 10 news organizations are focusing exclusively on one story and there's others that are available to do something else, why not do something else? Why not leave that story then to the eight to 10 people who are focusing on the one thing and do something else? But that's usually not how it works in practice. There's, again, there's a peer pressure, there's an anxiety. Without sounding too insulting, it's, it's sort of like when you watch nature programs and uh, a, a zebra detects something in the distance and starts running and then the whole herd follows the zebra that initially heard something because they think, well, we gotta go over here. It's, that's a little simplistic, but it's not too far away. The comedian Jon Stewart uh, famously compared a lot of at least American news coverage to a kid's soccer game where both teams just converge on the ball and they kick the hell out of it and then the ball goes flying and they all run after the ball and sort of repeat the same thing. It's not terribly sophisticated or intellectual, but I would say that's quite accurate because again, there's a pressure, there's an anxiety within a lot of news minds, a lot of people in the news business to get on a story 
even if everyone else is already there. There's a feeling like, well, we have to be there too. And sometimes they just want it for their own archives. They're like, well, we, we'll send a camera person so we get our own footage, so we have our own stuff. There's legit, perhaps, business reasons to it too, but a lot of it is the endless pursuit of drama, seeking dramatic stories, and the peer pressure, not wanting to feel left out, not wanting to feel like we didn't get the story, even though everyone else is getting it. So that's a little bit of why media frenzies happen. I'll get into some of these issues further in other videos. Let me know what you think as always of this whole concept and whether you think it's right or wrong, if there's a way to avoid them, if, if it's unavoidable, if it's fine and totally acceptable. Let me know as always. And thanks again for watching. Ask a Newsworker.